Now we arrive uh, to Hatay in uh, Turkey after uh, what happened uh, with us, me and my colleague Ilhan Tanri Orva. We have been uh, rescued miraculously from very close death. What happened with us just a few hours ago that we have been inside the uh, town of Sermin, which was liberated by the Syrian opposition fighters and uh, near a building in the main road we've uh, met some nearly 20 or 30 of them uh, all of them were uh, young between the age of 20 and 30 years old we've made an interview with them and they told us just to go out of this area because it's so dangerous and we when we drive the car after 10 seconds when we left them inside the building inside Sermin, the Russian fighter jets had attacked the same building. All the Syrian position fighters who have met with them have been killed. And when we just drive 10 meters away from them, or 20 meters to be more accurate, the shelling have erupted. As you can see, we have been driving our car and my friend, the cameraman Ilhan Tandrover, was sitting here and this sharp nail has came to this area. Imagine if it came just few meters down, it could be kill three people who have been here. Ilhan was here and other friends from other channel have been with us and this is the result all the glass from the strong sound of the explosion of the building of targeting the Syrian opposition fighters which we had met them just 20 or 25 seconds ago to be more accurate have been killed after we just left them if we could imagine they were being our car is moving here and the building was just in that area, as you can see the fence. We have been driving and the shelling have been erupted. That's why the pressure has hit the car and the sharp nail again hit this area miraculously. If it's come only few centimeters to Ilhan, my cameraman, it he could be something worse could happen to him and to the other two people who were sitting there.